welcome back. So today's video is on two super easy hairstyles that I personally love to do whenever I'm in a time crunch or if I just want to look cute and do something different with my hair without spending a ton of time on my hair. Um, these are my go-to. So here's the first one that I will be showing you guys how to achieve. I actually got a lot of requests on one of my videos that I wore this hairstyle in to do. People were asking me how I got my braids so voluminous. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that today. I'm also going to show you this style right here, which is another one of my go-tos. So if you want to learn how to do these two styles, then please keep watching. So this look is all about that textured looking hair, really beachy, sexy waves. Lioness Beauty Bar sent me some products to use, so that's what I shall be doing. Most of the products will be by them. So before I even dried my hair, I used the heat protecting cream, and this will just make sure that our hair does not get damaged in the process of curling it. And now that my hair is dry, I'm just going to spray a little bit of styling spray throughout it, which is almost kind of like a sea salt spray. It's not a hard holding, crunchy hairspray. It just gives you a little bit of extra hold and some natural texture. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and section up my hair and we'll begin adding those beachy, sexy waves. Yeah! For my curling iron, I decided to go with the Interchangeable Pro Iron. And this is once again by Lioness Beauty Bar. For the barrel size, I decided to go with the second largest one. This one is just big enough to give you those beachy waves, but not so big that they'll fall out on you. So it kind of gives you more of that natural curl look. So for curling, I'm just going to go every which way. I'll do some towards my face, some away from my face. This will give it more of that natural curl pattern. We don't want them to be super tight. You want them to be a little bit more on the loose side, just like you're kind of out at the beach all day. You know what I'm saying? The best part about this one is that you can create any type of curl that you want. You can do super tight curls, you can do super loose curls. I'm just obsessed with, you know, irons that have the interchangeable barrels because, you know, it's my life. I love to have that option of, you know, the different types of curls that you can create with it. And now that we're done curling our hair, it should look a little something like this. I'm going to add a little bit of um, Color Proofs Powder Fix, which will give us a little bit more volume up top. It'll give us a little bit more texture, and it'll be easier to braid since our hair won't be silky smooth. So I'm just popping this bad boy right into my roots. I'm also going to run a brush through my curls just to loosen them up a little bit. We don't want them to be super duper tight. Like I said, we want to have them a little bit more loose, so run that brush through them. To get rid of any extra frizz, I'm adding some vitamin E hair serum, and that just kind of gets rid of frizz and adds a little bit more shine. And of course, you know me, I'm going back through and I'm going to back comb my hair quite a bit and add some volume up in my crown area, right up in the sides of my head on the top. Wherever you feel like you need a little extra volume, just back comb it and make it as big or as sleek as you want it to be. Okay, so basically I'm just grabbing my crown section of my hair and clipping it back out of the way because we will be having that part go over our braid. So as you can see, I'm taking a section right above my ear here and I'm just gonna do a normal braid. You can do a fishtail braid, you can do any type of braid that you want, but I'm just gonna be simple today and do a good old fashioned three strand braid. As I'm braiding it, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling it so it's not super hard to pull it once we've braided it completely. So um, just kind of pull it apart, make it as big or as tight as you want it to be. All right, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other side. Once again, clipping back that crown part of my hair just to get it out of the way so we don't get it tangled. Don't. <laughs> so we don't get it tangled up in the braid. Yes. Once again, grabbing a section, section? Can I speak today, guys? Like, this is ridiculous. Grabbing a section of hair right above my ear, and I'm gonna braid it. Okay. 
Alrighty, now that we have both braids completed, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the braids and cross it across my head by the other braid and pin it right into place. Now I'm gonna take the other braid and cross it right in front of the pins that we just pinned and pin it on the opposite side. Really as simple as that. So now we have a braided headband. All right, I'm now releasing the crown part of my hair, and now, as you can see, it went right over the pin, so you can't see it. It just looks like an endless braided headband, so now I'm just doing a little bit of back combing, just kind of placing the hair where I want it to be. You can go back and curl some parts that kind of flattened out a little bit, and, you know, just kind of mess around with it until you like it. So here we have the finished look and like I said it's super easy and it is so cute. It's just perfect to have on at the beach or if you're just you know going to work and you want to be cute but you don't want to spend a lot of time on your hair. Here we are. All right, moving on to look number two. I think this is my favorite summer look. It's just super easy and it gets your hair out of your face and you're good to go. So I'm starting off with my curled hair like I had before. I'm going to go ahead and section the top part of my hair off. I'm taking these sections on a little bit more of a diagonal rather than straight back, which will give us a little bit more of that voluminous looking braid. So once again, my lines are a little bit slanted, as you can see. Not a straight line back, but kind of off to the side diagonal. And we're going to repeat that on the opposite side, creating another diagonal line back. So once you have your hair all sectioned up, it should look kind of like a triangle with the fattest part being in the back. So now I'm taking the remaining parts of my hair that are left down and just putting it back with the hair tie to get it out of the way so we don't have to worry about it and we will let it back down later. So I'm taking a little section up here and I'm going to split it into three parts. And I'm just going to do a normal braid at first, just kind of getting our braid started. And now I'm going to start incorporating parts from the outside. So this is going to be an outside or Dutch braid, if you will. So basically, I'm doing a normal braid, but every time I get to the outside section, I'm adding a little bit more hair. So I'm just pinching it in with my pointer finger and my thumb. And then I bring that to the center of the braid, as you can see. And now I'm just gathering more hair, bringing that to the center, and so on. When you're braiding your hair, you can watch this video and um, just kind of mimic what I'm doing. I know it's kind of confusing looking, but I promise once you get the hang of it, it is so easy. It literally takes me about like two minutes to braid. Once your braid is finished, go ahead and tie it up with a clear elastic. I just prefer a clear one because, you know, you don't want a super bulky hair tie up top. You want it to be, you know, a little bit less of a statement. You just want it to be up and back and out of the way. Now I'm pulling the braid apart. I'm pulling on the outsides of it. I'm pulling on the insides of it, making the braid just super loose and boho looking. Once again, I had that hair powder in my hair, so I think that's what makes it look so voluminous and messy without being too messy. Um, just having that little bit of texture in there really just kind of bulks up your braid and makes it extra large. Now for the little ponytail part, I'm gonna go ahead and back comb that and make it super big. So just back comb away, make it huge and then just comb it down a little bit. You can always go back and recurl it, but I think having that large ponytail in the back of your braid is just the cutest thing ever. I love the volume. Um, so after you back comb your little ponytail, go ahead and back comb the rest of your hair too. I like to have a little extra volume right up by the ponytail too, so it's not like super flat on the sides of your head. Um, so just back comb away and get crazy with it. And that is it for this look. We are finished. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you like hair tutorials and I'll do more for you. I haven't done one in like a really long time. So let me know if you like them by thumbs upping this video or commenting and letting me know. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to it. And that's all I gotta say. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Take it off. You want it off. Cause I know what you're feeling. It's okay, boy, I've been